everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of How and Why with DTI. Today we're going to cover the topic of sewer nozzles and spray angle. What is spray angle and how does it help you and what do you need to know? Ed, when we talk about spray angle, give us some info on, on what we're actually talking about and, and what the benefit of knowing what this spray angle is. is. Well, let's take a few nozzles and take a look at different spray angles for different tools and different applications. Keep something in mind as we're reviewing these nozzles. These are all one inch. We talk about the thread size and the end of the nozzle measured in National Pipe Thread or NPT. Uh, the tooling, the configuration, they're available anywhere from one eighth to inch and a half size. And again, larger the size, the more gallons per minute, which will be another discussion. Mike, you asked about spray angle. Let me use one of these barbecue skewers or several of them to give everybody an idea of what we mean by spray angle. The inserts, whether they come out of the back of the tool or they come out of the side of the tool, are going to come out at a specific angle and that angle actually accomplishes several different things. Again, we'll use this barbecue skewer uh, to show some of the different angles. I'm going to insert it into the orifice and here what we have is a 30 degree jet. Shooting straight out of the back of the tool would be zero coming straight out of the side, which usually only happens on rotating nozzles, will be 90 degrees. The, the orifice next to it is at 10 degrees, so you can get the concept of the difference between 10 and 30 degrees. This particular tool has 10, 30, 10, 30, all the way around the tool. This is done for cleaning and thrust, both. Let's talk a little bit about why 10, why 30, why 45 degree, and we'll look at some of the rotating nozzles for 45 degrees. There's a couple 45 degree ones on this one. 10 degree, lower the number, the more forward thrust you're going to get out of the tool. The lower the number or smaller the degree, the further you're going to push material behind the tool. The lower the number, the longer it's going to take the water to get from the tool or the nozzle to the actual wall of the pipe. So you can get that degree down to zero if you want, just not going to clean the wall of the pipe very well, but it will give you a lot of forward thrust and move a lot of material behind. The more we increase the spray pattern, as we have here on a 30 degree, the shorter the distance from the tool to the nozzle to the wall of the pipe and the better cleaning it does. Now you're going to lose some thrust with that or forward push out of the nozzle. You're going to lose a little rearward movement of the material itself. The wider we get with the spray pattern, the less it can push material behind the nozzle, but the better it cleans the pipe. Mike, let me have that rotator that you have there, and let's take a look when we talk about different degrees. This particular tool, these don't rotate in the back. This particular tool has 20 degree jetting coming out of the back of the tool, but coming out of the head itself are 90 degree jets. Also in that same head are 45 degree jets. So you're able to see the different angles. Getting the water from the tool with the rotating head to the wall of the pipe in the shortest distance, which is 90 degrees, is going to be your answer for the shortest distance, better the cleaning tool. We lose forward thrust, or in fact 90 degrees, we lose all the forward thrust with this one. But cleaning ability, cutting ability, grease cutting ability, uh, some people are using these rotators and controlled spin rotators, and we'll talk about those in another episode. Uh, these controlled spin rotators for cutting roots. Again, getting the water from the tool to the wall of the pipe in the shortest distance possible is what's going to do your cleaning. Getting the water from the nozzle straightest you can get behind the tool, say 10 degree, which is normally a pretty low degree on a standard cleaning nozzle, although you can get zero degree nozzles out there. You can get seven degree nozzles. Ten is, again, usually on the low side. Each one of these tools is going to be set up a little different. This guy over here has 45 degree jetting. Four of them. It rotates. And you have four 45 degree. And in the rear of the nozzle, there's 15 degree orifices coming out of the back of this tool. Three of them in the rear for propulsion four of them for cutting, for getting to the wall of the pipe and cutting material. Again, spray angle will vary from nozzle to nozzle, but understanding what it's there for. Again, lower degree, 
more forward thrust, higher degree, better cleaning. So Ed, you kind of told about like the science of why the different uh, degree, spray angle and degrees on that. What would, uh, the operators out there are wondering, okay, what nozzle do I need for my certain applications? Touch a little bit on spray angle and how it relates to the type of material and the size of pipe you're cleaning. Well, there's two style nozzles that we're looking at, whether it rotates in a fast rotation or a controlled spin, which is what we have here, say, in the Bulldog or Warthog or something you guys are using out there. Or we have fixed jetting, like we have here. Basic cleaning tools, I'm going to want to move the material a long distance out of the pipe, but I'm going to want to remove the material from the wall of the pipe. The downside to this tool is that if you get it into a grease application, it'll pull big logs of grease and big sheets of grease back. Hard to vacuum up with your truck, hard to remove from the pipe. The rotating nozzles will cut that grease up into almost a popcorn consistency in order to bring it out of the pipe easier, floats in the stream better, and it's easier to remove and less effort on the operator themselves. Again, each type of rotator, this happens to have six rear jets, uh, and it has six jets on the head for rotational uh, and cleaning. Each person's going to they're going to want something a little different. Each, each one of our customers out there likes a different, some people are craftsmen and some people are Mac and some people are snap-on people. Everybody likes a little different tool and they have a reason for liking it. The suggestion and what we really get into here is five basic things we use the tool for. We use it for general maintenance cleaning. We use it for blockages, which I don't have a penetrating nozzle sitting here on the table, but it's pointy or chisel shaped. Uh, we're going to cut grease with it. We're going to cut roots with it, which whether that's a rotating nozzle with spray, which which does work, takes a little extra time, or as you're going to hear in future podcasts, root saws and chain cutters will be a separate podcast. Uh, you get into cutting of roots and then hard deposits, which is mineral heads, uh, mineral milling heads for mineral deposits. These are some of the different, these, those are the basic applications that we get into. So standard cleaning tools, I like the combination of 10 and 30. Move the material, get some forward thrust out of the nozzle. 30 degree jetting just to get the material off the wall. Grease applications, I would prefer a rotator. Cutting applications, I would prefer a cutting tool, a root saw or chain cutter, and then milling heads or carpet tip milling heads. Some of you just don't see those applications very often, but those are the five basic applications that we'll see. Um, we're done with this. Can you find some shrimp to put on one of these? Here? <laughs> one thing I do want to comment on that is, uh, uh, outside of the shrimp, is you know there is not one nozzle that will do everything you need to do. And a lot of operators we talk to, they have their go-to nozzle, their their standard nozzle. A lot of people like a, a controlled rotator for a majority of what they're doing because with all the different degree angles it has on there, it's giving you 90 degrees. It's giving you the 45 to the cut, the clean right at the pipe, but it still gives you enough thrust to get it up the pipe as you need. Um, the grenade is, is a standard uh, dual degree nozzle that it just a cleaning application, just basic soot and some basic uh, gunk in the pipe that run that up there, that'll do a good job for you. But the lesson that you have to understand is, is knowing the spray angle makes a big difference. If you've got a steep, steep climb you've got to make and, and there's a lot of grease in there, you're going to want more of those 10 degrees to push that up the pipe rather than the 90 or the 45 that's going to do more of the cleaning. So knowing what you're getting into and knowing the degree of the nozzle and how that affects you is really what's going to help you when you're out in the field. There's a million different things that you've ran into in the field out over the years. I know sure. that that's happened and you'll see that out there. But what we want to give you is the basis of, of what the spray angle means and what it's going to do for you. So when you're out there and you, you know the situation you have, you can pick the best tool that's going to do the job in the most efficient way possible. Look, guys, let's look at the nozzles as a toolbox. A crescent wrench can be used as a hammer. Candy. And it's not the right way to use it. Crescent wrench will fit any nut and bolt out there, but it's still not going to take the tires and wheels off your car very well. We see a lot of our customers using one nozzle for all applications. Uh, they believe it works. Well, let's face it, folks, most of you just can't see what you're doing to begin with because you're doing it blind. You insert the nozzle into the pipe and you run it. You're not sure what it's doing to televise the line. And with the advent of telev televising equipment that we see out there today, uh, it's a lot easier to tell what these tools do. Uh, remember, not one tool does all jobs. 
you can trap a tree down with a hammer, but I think you'd be better off with a chainsaw. Different application, a little yep. more expensive, but the right tool for the right application, uh, increasing productivity, shortening the effort and the time you need to do the job, and making yourself more efficient. Guys, like always, any questions, feel free to email us or uh, contact us via the, the uh, chat functions of any of the, the ones you get. Uh, our email is dti at dohaneycompany.com. Uh, let us know what, what questions you might have or what topics you want to learn from this. Uh, if there's any, uh, anything that we haven't done yet that you'd like to see, let us know. We're here to, to serve you guys and give you the tools you need to do your job. Uh, if you want to see more of our videos, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe on wherever you get your podcast. And stay tuned for next time until we all learn something new. Thanks. Have a good day, folks.